So if you haven't done so already, it's probably a good time to jump on a World War II and try and take advantage of some of the remaining weeks of the Resistance event coming up. We're now approaching that middle week in which it's week three, so we have two more after, two more have already gone as of tomorrow. And so with that said, Time is running out, but you still have enough that you can capitalize on it, which personally, I'm trying to do a little bit more of. I wanted to get a lot more done in the time that I've had already compared to what I actually did, but that's neither here nor there. Once again, though, as we are approaching that middle week, this is something in which we have a lot of different changes coming to World War II and what we can expect in terms of gameplay, different features, different things coming to the game and things alike, as we have with each individual update that we get for the weekly updates to the Resistance event. So this week is gonna change a little bit of what we know already in terms of pretty much every category up on the board and it's going to introduce us to once again another feature playlist whereas this past week we did not end up having one so in this one today i want to break down everything that's going to be changing for world war ii this upcoming week starting tomorrow february 6th and then going until february 12th which is next monday one week from today so keeping with tradition of the weekly updates let's just jump right into it so this past week we ended up getting a free gift once again in the sense of a resistance supply drop we had double division XP across all modes. We had a bunch of different orders in the weekly and daily categories, which complete 30 matches to get a two times resistance bribe, which by the way, if you guys have not activated that just yet, you still have under 24 hours to do so, but jump on that so you don't miss out on that because that is going to be great. And a little pro tip, save the resistance bribes until closer to the end of the event so that if you end up opening supply drops, you have a better chance at chipping away at more stuff compared to using that bribe now, getting guaranteed no dupes on it, but but you might still have a large portion of the collection pool in which you could end up unlocking. So therefore, once again, just saving it and opening supply drops leading up to it just cuts down on the risk of getting something you don't exactly want. You had a couple of different weekly orders as well, gearing towards the pistols, that also with the tactical knife and then headshots with the pistols. Then you had a lot of different stuff, once again, to throw in with the resistance division and different tactical play for the pistol. And then all the contracts were the same compared to week one. So that rounded it out. We had no featured playlist this past week, but we did end up having the DLC launch on PlayStation 4. So for those of you guys that had PlayStation 4, the DLC, you actually had the ability also to get double XP, which leads me into what we actually ended up getting a hotfix or a playlist update today, in which personally, I didn't think about it at first, but then a follower of mine over on Twitter actually pointed it out. If you guys got a little bit of an update today on PlayStation 4, it's only because it turned off the double XP playlist for the DLC featured playlist. So if you guys were wondering about that, that's what that does. But as for this week, once again, we do keep with a lot of what we have compared to this past week, but there are enough changes to be noticeable. The first thing, as per usual, we end up getting a free gift of a resistance supply drop, which talking supply drops just for a second, one thing that I have noticed that has not changed since the Winter Siege event is that the different rank based and order bonus supply drops, those actually aren't changed over to be resistance supply drops, which personally, I think that's how it should be. If every supply drop is changed to be resistance, those ones that are earned just via a regular rank progression in the sense of five and ten increments of the ranks and then also if you say complete the six daily orders to get that bonus and then the three weekly to get that bonus I think those as well should be resistance supply drops but I guess we'll see I might end up tweeting something out to try and get a little bit clarity on that if that's possible but that's one thing that's still perplexed me since the winter siege event as for double XP well unfortunately if you guys are into multiplayer which I know a lot of you guys are this actually does not have anything for double XP this week. This week, there is no featured playlist with double XP in any multiplayer range, but it does end up offering double XP for Nazi Zombies players. So all of Zombies is going to end up having double XP, and that's something that I totally understand as to why. I think that it is nice that Zombies players are going to get this recognition and this ability to have double XP, because they really aren't getting all that much in the grand scheme of things compared to what multiplayer say gets. And that is something that, while you might not be too into that community, if you want to give it a try, definitely try it out and get that double XP. And if you are in tune with that zombies community, that's perfect for you. As for the weekly orders, this is where it's going to start changing up once again. I'm a huge fan of these ones. I was not a big fan of what we had this past week in the sense of the challenges themselves. I, of course, love the ability to get a resistance bribe and two of them at that. But I did not like having to get 30 headshots with a pistol. And although the resistance division one wasn't all that bad, that was still something that I kind of had to go out of my way to use the resistance division. It's not one that's in my normal repertoire 
are at the moment. But this coming week is going to end up featuring playing 25 matches of Demolition, getting 30 long range kills, and then getting 100 kills with a pistol. So kind of a little bit of a combination of everything that we'll see this week and then this past week with the pistol play, Demolition, and then 30 long range kills, kind of just bringing it down to a normal pace once again, but still throwing in some of the stuff that is new that players might want to use. As for the daily orders, we're going to see a little bit of rotation here on this one because as we've seen with a couple of the weeks already and what will be coming up in the future, there are four individual ones that you'll see and then they start to repeat. But starting tomorrow on February 6th, you have the ability to win five matches of demolition. The day after, plant three bombs in demolition. February 8th, you get 35 kills in demolition for a resistance supply drop. And then on the 9th, you have to defuse one bomb in demolition. And then starting on the 10th, the rotation starts over. So it's win five matches, plant three bombs, get 35 kills, and then it leads us into the week after. That's something that, of course, these all grant you resistance supply drops as they have previously. And then leading over to the contracts, unfortunately, in terms of changes, these aren't going to be changing at all. They are going to be still the constant ones that we've seen thus far in World War II, which is the ability to get 35 kills in any mode, get 35 kills of the pistol, get 55 kills in war, get five headshots in domination, get 30 kills in the resistance division, and get five headshots in team deathmatch. So those, once again, are carrying over into week three from what we've already seen, and they'll still, once again, cost you some armory credits in the way of once you complete them, you get a resistance supply drop. Personally, I still think that these are some very good ones, and they do offer up some variables in how you might end up going about playing the game, but I'm a fan of these contracts. I've been grinding them out as the past couple of days, trying to stockpile my supply drops, and thus hopefully get something out of the drops that I really like, but I guess we'll see once we have to open those up. Now, the final thing, once again, for this upcoming week starting tomorrow is something that we did not see this past week across all consoles. That is a featured playlist. Of course, we did see a featured playlist in the way of the DLC with Core and Hardcore and then Operation Intercept 24-7, but that was only for PlayStation 4 because Xbox players and PC players did not have access to the DLC and will not until probably about March 1st. That's 30 days after when the DLC launched for PlayStation 4, but this week's playlist across all boards is going to be Demolition 24-7. So Demolition is returning. We talked a little bit about that in the weekly and daily orders. So while we knew this was coming already, that is what's going to be the 24-7 playlist, and it's going to be this week and then week five only. So if you guys miss out on this, it won't be your only chance to, but definitely try and take advantage of it while you can, because it's going to be around for a limited time. As with, say, prop punts, and then we also will get gun game returning in week five. Those modes aren't going to be there all the time. They're just there for these events. And therefore, what Sledgehammer says is they don't want to fragment the player base, which is understandable where it would take away from some of the modes that players might have more or less population in if this mode wasn't in there. That's the reasoning behind it, so make sure you take advantage of it while it still has the option to. Now, in terms of other things, well, there's not anything detailed specifically, but we do still have a few things on the horizon that may very well be coming. One of those things being paint shops, which a lot of people are very eagerly awaiting, myself included in that, because I want to make some custom camos, man. Like, I got some cool ideas, and I'm not really the biggest fan of any of the camos in World War II at the moment, other than, say, if it was maybe the gold or diamond or maybe chrome, just those higher up ones, but the base head shot camos I'm not a fan of those so I'd love to make my own one thing that's also probably gonna be added in if at any point in time soon a great time to do it would be this update tomorrow is the flak event because we've been talking about this a little bit it's been rolling out incrementally to various different regions of the world and thus it's being tested on a more rollout basis so if it's being worked into daily gameplay as is why not implement it for everybody going forward with the most recent update coming tomorrow via playlist update so keep your eye out on that. Maybe you end up seeing it if you guys have not done so already, or maybe it still needs a little bit more time and you'll see it here and there, but not always. And then finally, one other thing to keep your eye out for us, Domination XL, because that's been kept on the relatively down low as well, but has been introduced in various posts from Sledgehammer and Conjury talking about it being in the time frame of the Resistance event. And now that we're getting closer to the end of the event, we're not quite there just yet, but the time frame is shrinking a bit, so maybe that comes tomorrow as well. We'll see though. But that said, that is going to wrap up these changes here for week three of World War II in the Resistance event. We still have two more weeks after this, so if you guys, once again, have missed out on week one and two, don't worry just yet. You still got quite a bit of time to go here with this, but definitely try and jump in as much as possible to take advantage of the Resistance supply drops, the double XP and zombies, demolition, all that good stuff if you guys 
arches than any of it. Make sure you jump on so you don't miss a thing. But that said, I'd love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. Are you guys hoping, say, the Flak event rolls out tomorrow? Are you guys excited for Demolition 24-7? Whatever it may be, let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. That said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding Call of Duty World War II. We're going to be killing it with a content coming up. So if you guys are interested in anything regarding best tips, tricks, class setups, information, news, updates like this, all that good stuff, we got you covered here up on the channel. So if any of it interests you, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing regarding World War II. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected with me outside of YouTube. I practically live on Twitter. So if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. And also, actually, I'm going to plug this real quick because I never really do. If you guys want to follow my Instagram account, I'll leave that link in the description below as well. I'm starting to post a little bit more actively on that. So if you guys want to stay up to date on that front too, feel free to. But that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Modest and Espresso. Take care and peace.